What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total Wallets play as Louisiana. And in this episode, we are intercepting the Austrians near Dresden. I'm going to chew up a significant portion of their forces. This, re this reinforcing army is actually already fairly depleted. And the one coming in behind them is kind of depleted and also not super strong. So let's cut them down before our walls. I probably want to do something like this to get more infantry onto the map in case I have an absolute nightmare but I don't think I should. So let's intercept the Austrians and cut them down. So right now we are in Europe we are buying time for our forces to come steaming through the Middle East to hit the Mediterranean and then sail to hit the Austrians from the south. I will need to then send naval forces into the Med to secure passage for my ships to go and hit the Austrians from the rear. No breaches, not a problem. Okay, got some weak units. That's not so great. Let's put the weakest unit there in the middle. So then cover standard approaches. I'd rather put line infantry on the walls rather than fusiliers because fusiliers aren't so great in the melee combat. Okay so that leaves us with three spare units to put in the center to respond to whatever breaches we get. We got a bunch of cavalry which is not going to deploy outside yet. We've got one howitzer that's going to be pretty critical. General's bodyguard. Two foot artillery units which is going to hold position behind the building there. My general's going to chill out. And we are being attacked from every point. There! Line infantry hidden. So let's do a standard bit of empire trickery well not even trickery I mean sometimes I wonder if they will naturally get into position when they've got something to shoot at if part of the problem is they've not got a target Howitzers do have targets. Okay, hit the marines. The light dragoons are getting bombarded. The howitzer fires, it'll get a good hit there. These men are also acting up. Yeah, there now. See, they did finally get into position once they had an enemy to shoot at. Fortunately, those enemies are just all cavalry. Miss. Hit. They took out five cavalrymen in one shot. Excellent. Oh, a quick line hit would be great here, howitzers. You are firing, yes. I hope howitzers are off. Short. Okay, so I've run my troops through the gate and for whatever reason they cannot decide if they want... Okay, you guys run over the gatehouse. There we go, I was going to say. Now they've shut the gate. They're going to shoot the bejesus out of those cavalry. I don't think you guys have got a good shot off yet. I don't know, got some shots off. going to start picking away at these reinforcement troops. This provincial cav wants to charge, but it can't work out how. Come on, how it is. The artillery is a bit of a bust as well. Come on, how it 
chances. That should be a great shot for you. The 23rd Regiment. Nope. Keep firing at the infantry. Just because. See, they want to charge, but my doors aren't open. They have nowhere to charge to. Now they're starting to get engaged by my infantry on the walls. Reinforcements it is. It's reinforcements coming from somewhere different. Not from that back corner. Oh, that could have been a great hit. Well, I got the hit the corner of them. Some of these men should really be suffering. Yes, that's what we're talking about. Now this unit can aim at the 2nd Regiment of Foot. Deutschmeister Regiment. Because these guys are now... Don't worry about them. There's only 50 Marines. That's what you want to see. Artillery fire. That's great for the morale. Still no breaches yet. I guess their artillery can't hit me because it's deployed here and it's just killing their own men. Okay, I think they're about to begin assaulting. The 29th Regiment has been hollowed out. Let's maybe get my howitzers to start shooting at some of this cavalry at the rear. And these grenadiers need to get some grappling irons on the wall if they want to try and make it up. They may want bring a line infantry guards unit close to this section of the wall. We've managed to chase away that unit of grenadiers. So you chase away this unit of Hungarian grenadiers. Those men are attempting to win a shooting war against us, which is not going to work because you get the advantage of height and cover. Come on you men, pour fire onto the 16th. Good quick climb hit, good artillery hit, shooting the back of the general's bodyguard. Let's get my guardsmen up here. 48th probably aren't going to stand up. It's running into too much more punishment. Especially if we can get some actual gunfire onto them. It's most surprising the marines are sticking around so long. Another quick climb shell in. This time it hit the general. Yeah, hit the general's bodyguard. You need dragoons over there. Come on, guardsmen! Don't take any, don't take any notice of those swines. There you go. They've been seen off. The 
Russians still aren't trying. But they're trying over here. I mean, I think my cuirassiers would do a real number on these. Oh, they got some household cavalry. My artillery, my cavalry would do a good number on everyone except those household cavalry. Throw my guards in against the 34th. They should die fairly quickly. Looks like this is going to be the central point of their assault. They're all still shooting at the third foot guards. Losing slightly, losing slightly. This is 29. Come on, if you can get the guards to rout, good. Then they can start shooting at the, the uh, marines. Chase down the Deutschmeister. You gotta stop shooting, you're just killing your own men. focus on that unit of Lancer Guards because right now they have no way in so their weak infantry is their only card to play we are getting a bit of a foothold but there we go, the 29th are routing and that will start to clog up the well, they were routing, that will start to clog up the uh, these grappling iron, these grappling yeah, grappling hooks because you'll get men trying to route down at the same time Now it's just the 48th. There we go, they've also routed. So try and kill. Because they try to kill these last men on the walls, but that's not going to be an option. So my line infantry guards just uh, take up position. Quickline is still trying to hit their cavalry. We've got some marines coming in from a long way off. Lots of cavalry. So if you guys could get into position on those guns, you could start to pick off some of those off pick off some of those heavy cavalry. There we go. Like that. Boom. Whole bunch of them. So my howitzers weren't aren't focusing on that marine unit like I would prefer, but to be honest it looks like they are not going to be attacking any time soon. I mean I don't want to just I don't want to just sit here and watch my cannons just shoot this cavalry. I mean it's fun, but not really a uh, fun battle. Quick climb unit. I'll tell you, quick climb shot missed the marines, but it, the second one hit and it looks like they want to try and... Those are pretty cool looking marines actually. The old style marines. But it looks like they want to try and engage in a shooting battle with the fort, which is a bad idea. It's a weak unit of fusiliers. Weak unit of expats. Swiss Mountain Jaeger units. Those horse guards aren't long for this world. Those first foot guards aren't likely to be around for very long either. Neither is all this cavalry. It looks like I can hear it trying to charge someone. But there's no one to charge. The 8th they're going to cut down the first first regiment of fusiliers. We must have 
The first must have already have been killed, and then these guys have been retrained since. They are semi-experienced. We've got one chevron, so they've seen battle. Alright. Firewall on, firewall off, because uh, you guys should be pouring a devastating volley down into the first. There we go. Thin them out a bit. Expats. I mean, these marines aren't... not marines. Fusiliers aren't going to last very long. There's not very many of them. And, uh... In general, Fusiliers aren't as good in combat. I mean, some of my guys are climbing down, which is not what you want at all. So let's just do that. Let's make them run back into the right position. The expat infantry has been chased away. Folks fire the cluster of, car of um, cavalry for my quick climb shots. Because ultimately it's just a lot of cavalry coming in. Hussars. Got some artillery way at the back, but it looks like they're going to be firing. Oh no, they are slowly making a breach. But will they make a breach before? I mean, these Mountain Jaegers are not long for this world. There's only 32 of them and they've just charged the fort themselves. So that's definitely the kind of clump of things I would like to deploy my cavalry to shoot at, or to attack, but I want to just chill out and knock out some of their artillery, their cavalry first. With stuff like that. I mean, my cavalry would probably beat them all in a straight fight anyway. This household cavalry would do some damage. So my guys are all Curacier, so they are all Heavy cavalry. Let's have time. Let's speed up the time. Or we'll speed up the uh, the clock. Because to be honest, it looks like the AI is not... Ultimately, what I'm tempted to do, guys, is because this battle's probably going to be a bit pants. What I'm tempted to do is just cut it and tell you guys, right, it's going to be... They're just going to dilly-dally around, not really do anything. It's not going to be that decisive. So... Yeah, see you after the battle, guys. I don't want to waste a part, an entire part, watching this. Yeah, cheers, everyone. And in a great, valiant effort to prove my point, uh, the AI just fell all of their men back to this corner, and their howitzers are currently dropping... Oh, actually, they are actually making a breach. They were previously dropping quick climb way short. Keep you guys posted. Depends how long it takes for them to make this breach. So, see you in a second, everyone. Actually, better get my... I did send my cavalry out there to kill those gunners in the corner over there, and it did work. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see what the enemy does. Because right now they are, they were, doing silly things. So, see you in a sec again. The plot thickens. While I was not paying attention, they've made a breach. So you, my friend, and Limber. now have a way in. Weirdly it's there rather than here, which is what it looked like they were trying to do, but whatever. My howitzers, however, are seeing them off. So that goes those you know, Hungarian Hussars. It was them that put me onto it, actually. I didn't realise they'd made a breach until I was watching over here. And the Hussars took off charging. I was like, well, what have they done that for? I was like, oh. Uh, actually. You guys don't get in there. Let's do something like that. There we go. Okay, you guys 
just don't do anything there. Who's that? Fusiliers are coming in. They're trying to charge. Focus fire on that unit of Hungarian hussars. To be honest, it's 17 minutes left, so I'm inclined to play it on slightly faster speed because it looks like the eye doesn't is not really in the mood to do anything. So let's try and drop a quick lime shell right there to hit those marines and Swiss guard. Those fusiliers look like they're just gonna dance. This unit of infantry looks like it's the focus of the howitzers, so let's just run them away. Yeah. <laughs> Sleep at the wheel again. Sleep at the wheel again. They've come in. These are all my dead bodies. Okay, that. I mean, if they're all going to run down towards my artillery there, that's... Hey, that's lame. Have a close-range canister shot, you smelly people. And also... Have some cuirassiers. Looks like... These infantry need to be pushed up a bit. I don't want to put them in here because it's 97%. They're probably going to die. Let's try to see if I can get this gun team to limber up. See if I can get these guys to just back up. You guys hit the hussars. To be honest, let's deploy my other cavalry outside. I think that's going to be the guerrilla mercenaries taken care of, because they too are depleted. And those fusiliers will not do very well. Like, okay, fellas. Out you go. Lancers, Light Dragoon, they still have their Household Cavalry. There we go, they're on their way out. Keep chopping away the Fusiliers, those regiment, that regiment of Fusiliers will not be long for this world. That's where you take him out. With this one guy reloading at the edge. There we go. Well, let's park my cavalry right here. Let this regiment of foot get a volley into the lancers before I halt fire. If they actually do, which they will not, so let's turn fire it off. And let's also pull these guys down here. My well, hussars are winning, but they've not got infinite life. So let's chop up this Ulan unit. Pretty ricky tick, because the heavy cavalry is coming in. Nice. Looks like the heavy cavalry is going inside the gates. Too bad these guys aren't fire facing in a position to fire down into the uh, into the alley. You men deploy square.
Okay, let's. Shouldn't really have done that. Let's get you guys. Like so let's maybe charge one infantry unit around the rear here. So send these cavalry up to go hit the 21st light horse, then send them on to go hit the artillery. And maybe get my general out to face the uh, to fight the artillerymen. Alright, you guys get involved. Surround them in a little cauldron. There we go. Throw those fusiliers into those fusiliers because then there'll be a bit of a match. Throw my infantry against their infantry. You guys are fighting the 21st light horse and will probably win. The general. Go take out that regiment of horse artillery. And they've broken, but they were bloody close to getting killed by my own howitzers. These Austrians are trapped in a killing field. Nowhere to go but through our own men. Hey, that quick climb over here did kill a bunch of guys. Sweet. Both those dragoons dismounted dragoons. So my cavalry is then going to knock out this artillery and knock out those dragoons. There we go. They've all... the end of them. Try and rout your devils. We could chase them down, but that would cause problems with the units that are inside the fort. Well, I just want to <laughs> get the battle over with, that was a bit dodge. Okay, so they lost a significant chunk of their men, which is always nice to see. So this call it this sort of action. Ooh, do I want to intercept? I don't want to intercept. I've just fought an interception battle. Nope. Nope. Good, I just want to fight. I want to do some normal turn admin. I don't want to do an immediate Siege defence right on the tail of another siege defence. So there goes Sweden. Yeah, the Persians are now... Well, some of them are advancing to meet our front line. However, we are also pushing up our front line across the board. So it looks like they fortified Afghanistan, they're going to fortify Zahedan. There's a raiding force there in near Naroon that's causing some problems. Okay, don't worry about that. Okay, so... You guys are plenty strong enough to surround and destroy that camel unit. There we go, get you guys back inside, let's... Repair and replenish. So, we've got some good spy coverage here. You're ripe to push onto Zahedan. You might come over here, ready to try and set this guy. You yes, push sir. up here to see where he goes. Our other forces. Ready and awaiting order. Put Esfahan under siege. You push up to Ardabil. You push up to Baghdad. You push up. Probably. To Baghdad as well. Then we've got men over here. Theodore's replenishing. You are replenishing. 
got some more Gurkhas over here. Actually, you, you've already got your Gurkhas, so you push up. Take the, take the lead while these men replenish. You men, you guys need artillery, but you can't actually recruit. So, fairly sure we've solved this problem elsewhere. Pick up some artillery from there. Upgrade the church school. Let's get these Gurkhas into the army. Yep, yeah, they're okay to raid. Just keep building up. I was curious if I could get those guys together without causing a interception. You need a general pretty bad. Just keep replenishing. Got another army in London that's being raised. You can do with five units of regular regular line. Okay, but the most, the biggest thing is to keep pushing up through here. What I am going to do, I think, well, you guys want to push up, to start to contest, and get ready to intercept and hit these forces. But you might go in and go and sweep aside the garrison here at Zahedan and secure the territory to create a little, little magnet to draw in the iron filings of the other forces. Let's give them a, a reason to head my way. So this is going to be a pretty rapid advance because we've got we've got a significant advantage. Just, the aim will be to sweep around the flanks and engulf them. focus desert camel mercenaries because my cavalry can't deal with them ah, too bad they've already partially fired so these guys might have to actually run up to there the men pushing around this flank get up to there All my artillery actually to focus fire the camel mercenaries. Okay, you guys pour fire into the mercenaries. These troops push the flanker, new men charge. Cavalry have been pushed out. Well, the camels have been pushed out. There's some camels at the rear. Howitzers start to blast apart the their actual line. Dervishes are likely to be pushed back. So the armed populace are charging in, but they're not going to have a great time. My heavy cavalry in towards the camel mercenaries, keep pushing the flank. Yeah, those dervishes have been routed. Mortar garrisons. Hit the mortar garrison, I should say. New men push up. Just keep pushing up. Oh my god, my, all my hearts has actually shot at something else. Let's turn them off, actually. 
These guys are all broken. So those men are going to pour a bucket load of fire into the back of the 86th. Stop our howitzers from firing. Yeah, they're firing into the back of the enemy combat. There go the camels. The sick order are also dead. Sweet! There we go. Excellent. Heroic victory. Nice one. So that is Zahedin secured. So let's rebuild. Let's build some walls. Let's get the replenishment going. They won't... Usually they can't help but be drawn towards a city if they've just lost one. So we might be up in for a bit of trouble. But we've got plenty of forces nearby to back them up if, need, need, if needs be. I mean, you guys might just go straight for Esfahan. But, looking at the timer, I believe, I think, it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the assault on Esfahan. Cheers everyone.